Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So there seems to be quite a bit of confusion during the rounds in regards to Microsoft when it comes to different apps and services. And first of all, earlier today I posted that having two Outlooks installed is causing confusion for some. And that's the new Outlook and the classic Outlook. And I'll leave that video down below and in the end screen. And then in regards to the so-called confusion, I posted about a month or so ago that Microsoft Edge is ending support on CPUs without SSE3. That's the SSE3 instruction, which are basically your CPUs that range back to about 15 plus years ago. And that video will also be linked down below and in the end screen because it'll give you all the information you would need. I'll go into quite in depth how you can check um, if you have SSE3 or not on your CPU and all the other informations there. Now what's relevant to today's video is when I posted that previous video, if we head over to the Microsoft Edge supported operating systems and we scroll right down here to recent changes which is dated on the 13th of May 2024, it says Microsoft Edge support on CPUs without SSE3 will be out of support in Edge version 126. Now, Edge version 126 is the current stable version, okay, which rolled out a week or two ago. And I'll uh, leave that video linked in the end screen as well. And this is the version, according to the first announcement from Microsoft, that should have ended support on CPUs without SSE3, the SSE3 instruction. Now, if we head back to that post, and I head now to the beta channel release notes. And this is the release notes for Microsoft Edge Beta, which is your um, browser version um, and build just before it gets to stable. And if we have a look at the announcement on the release notes for version 127, which rolled out on the 21st of June 2024, Microsoft says, as an announcement, SSE3 requirement, Microsoft Edge will stop supporting CPUs that lack SSE3 in Microsoft Edge 128. Devices with such CPUs won't receive any more updates. Okay. Now that's strange because they first said 126. Now CPUs that lack SSE3 in Microsoft Edge 128. So which one is it? And this is a little bit confusing and I can't really tell because obviously I have a, and um, both my devices have more modern CPUs. So interesting. And obviously it seems that either somebody forgot to update one of the um, Microsoft Docs posts from Microsoft or Microsoft is confused. So is it Edge 128 where CPUs without SSE3 will not be supported? Or is it Edge 126, as I mentioned previously? So I'm um, just putting it out there. A little bit of confusion during the rounds in the Microsoft camp. And if, if anything else changes, obviously, I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.